Hey guys, Super Flashlight Rail Productions. I am doing Bachman Brendam Warehouse. I mean, Bachman Brendam Warehouse Review. As you can see in front of me, I just unboxed it from the box beneath. I just unboxed it beneath the train set. There's style film everywhere because this is a big piece of scenery. A big piece of scenery. It is a recent scenery, like the signal box, the signal box, the Blacklock Folly, and something else. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Maithway and Maithwaite Station. Now, this was released in... This Brendam Warehouse was released in 2000, I think it was 2014 or 15, but I'm going to review this right now. So, as you can see, it's mostly like a reddish brown with gray and green, and those dark patches for like the weather part, for like it's weathered from the salty sea air. And this could be used for like a Brendam Docks locations, as well as using Cranky the Crane and Salty. So here's one of the pieces. This is the platform with a set of stairs. And then here's the longest platform that looks like the letter E. It's pretty long. And sometimes you might face it like this. You know, where it's like the letter E. And here's the other set of stairs. Which is pretty cool. Okay. And here's the big warehouse. Where we have like little sheds. Sheds. <sighs> Stairs. That go up there to a door. Oh man, this is heavy. <sighs> this is a really big set. And don't mind the style of foam. It's just, well, that's how I unboxed it. Here's one side, Ugh. and up top, which I'm going to take my camera off, okay, okay, here is the roof, the skylights, you want to see the bottom, this is what it looks like, I am so sorry, this is a this is a big scenery, just to remind you guys, which can make it hard, excuse me, <clears throat> which can, which can make it hard to film, and I think that's pretty much about it. Okay, that is my episode on, okay. That's my, okay, okay, that's my episode on, okay, that's my episode, okay, that's my episode on, Bu <sighs> sorry about that, <clears throat> <sighs> okay, that's my episode on Botman Brendam Warehouse Review, and hopefully I'm going to get those new conflict cars, and um, I already reviewed Rosie in the background, but I want to mention this to you that I didn't mention before. If you look at Rosie, she's red. Her interior is red, but her railings are gray instead of silver. And she doesn't have any rivets. Rivets, unlike the TV show. So she's pretty cool. <sighs> Thank you.
let me just put her let me just put these raspberry surf tankers back onto the tracks because you know how I am there you go red rosy and there you are normal row normal normal original rosy so even though this is I just want to make this up because last time I reviewed Rosie, there wasn't that much light. But I'm really glad there's much daylight out there. And the sun is setting. So I want you two to be down here because this is the, uh, the Brendan Warehouse review episode. Okay. I'm just about to end this episode. That's my episode on Botman. Botman Brendan... Okay, that's my episode on Botman Bren. Okay, that's my. Okay. <sighs> okay, that's my episode on Botman Brendan Warehouse Refew. Botman Brendan Warehouse Refew. So. Okay. So, like and. Okay, so like and. As I was saying. So like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week for the next review. And be safe out there in case, and be, for some of you, okay, for some of you, okay, for some of you, okay, okay, for some of you, stay safe during an ice storm. Bye, see you guys next week, and stay safe during an ice storm. And like and subscribe. See you next week.